Say, here I am, Lord. Here I am, Lord. I receive you. Receive him, receive him. Watching the screen of television, brethren. Deliverance is going on. The problem solver has started up putting the sicknesses in the lives of the brethren. Watch and see many are vomiting out their sicknesses. The problem solver is determined to set them free and is now putting every sickness and they are vomiting it out. Every sickness, every disease. Watch, not only one. Many are touched as they are being delivered through vomiting out their sicknesses. The comforter, the problem solver is here to work in the name of Jesus Christ. Those who have been vomiting remain there. We want to hear from you what were the sickness. Tu wa jasta soma na toka Kenya na nimekuwa na shida ya uvimbe katika tumbo. Nilipoenda kupimwa kaniambia niko na uvimbe. My name is Adjuster Soma. I come from Kenya. When I came here, I had a growth in my stomach and discomfort. When I went to hospital, they checked and confirmed that I have a growth in my stomach. Nilikuwa nienda Edoret kufanyiwa upasuaji. Na pia uliniambia kwamba niko na kansa. I was supposed to go to Eldoret in a hospital for an operation. Doctors also confirmed that I had cancer. Mm -hmm. But nilisema kwamba kabla sijafikia mtumishi wa Mungu Kagande mimi sitaweza kushughulika na hizo shughuli. Kwa hivyo wakati nilipoombewa nikatapika mm -hmm. na naona ya kwamba e, tumbo ilikuwa ina fura saa hizi tumbo imetulia. Mm -hmm. Nguvu za kiume, saa hizi naona ya kwamba niko sawa mm -hmm. ya kwamba naweza kula ninashukuru eh? eh? Mungu. Eh? Walete so, I said let me come for the man of God to pray for me and when the man of God was praying I vomited and this is the vomit that I removed just when the man of God was praying. Right now I feel I can eat food. The weakness in manhood which I had I feel now I am strong. Can you speak in your language? Embo rabandu hula Kenya bosi mbu ndalu alire muda munji miyake yukumi. Na nyasaya honye lua mrumishi wa nyasaya asaire e, kagande Nda halula nide hulua inda niri inamu Mrumishi wa nyasaya nyasaya mete mani Ndo laluya niluma mwiri sinyala huwe ya katawe Kata mani kumuviri ke, kesi sata ndaveni mbuma lakini nyasaya mbele Kupira nyasaya urumu no achirofu chingu na nyasaya wa kagande A, Asante mungu kwa kuniponya na mungu awabariki awabariki mtumishi Okay. Give him food, give him food. Kwa majina naitwa Justus Ouma. My name is Justus Ouma. Natoka Kenya. I come from Kenya. Nimeletwa hapa na shida ambayo nimeona miujiza mara mbili. E, nimekuwa na shida ya tumbo, nimeenda kwa madaktari wakanipima wakasema kwamba niko na growth na pia niko na kansa. The problem that brought me here is my stomach. I went to the hospital, they checked me and they discovered that I have a growth inside. I also have cancer in my stomach. Na nilikuwa niende Edward kufanyua upasuaji na nilisema kwamba nitakuja hapa ili mtumishi wa Mungu na bi aniombe. I was supposed to go for an operation but later I changed my mind and said let me come here for the man of God prophet Samuel Kakande to pray for me. Nimekuwa nikijikuna hii mwili yote na hapo angalia mguu. If you look at my body I've been scratching myself like on my legs. Hii tumbo imekuwa ikifura siwezi kula. 
the stomach has been swelling so i was not able to eat sijakuwa na nguvu za kiume kwa miaka miezi mitano have not been having strength in my manhood for the past five years but leo mtumishi wa Mungu alipoingia akasema amini kila ambacho Mungu anataka kutendea atakutendea today when the man of god came he said believe whatever you want god to do for you and he will do it alipoanza kuomba nikaanza kutapika vitu so when he started praying i began vomiting nikaisi ya kwamba nahisi sasa atakukula chakula then i felt in my stomach a change that i am able to eat na mtumishi wa Mungu akaamudu niletee chakula nikule so the man of god asked for food to be brought for me to eat nimekula now i ate hata saa 3 i can eat even 3 plates sikukuwa na nguvu ambazo naweza inua kitu i did not have strength i couldn't lift something up mwenye tumekuja naye nilikuwa nikitembea pole pole hivi The one I came with witnessed I was walking very slowly. But sasa niko na nguvu naweza kimbia naweza kuruka. Now I am very strong I can even run. Niko na nguvu za kimwili na za kiume zote. I have strength in my body and strength in my mind. Kwa hivyo nashukuru mtumishi wa Mungu Nabii Kagande. I'm very grateful to the man of God prophet Samuel. Wili wangu uko sawa. Okay. Bale come come come. Nda muombea. Let us give thanks to Jesus Christ. Father thank you. God bless you all. Nataka nikukumbushe sehemu hii. This is the house. Hii ni nyumba. This was the house. Hii ilikuwa nyumba. Jina langu ni Justus Ouma. Vile mtumishi wa Mungu amesema hii nyumba niliweza kutoa nayo boma kikwetu unatoa boma kwa kwa mzee unaenda kujenga boma lako kwa hivyo hii nyumba nilitoa nayo boma My name is Justus Ouma this is the house that I started building a home with from where I came from you have to go and establish your own home so this is the house that I built to show that I left my house na umesema ukweli kabisa ni hapa na hii ndio nimebadilisha baada hii kutaka kuanguka kwa mke wangu and man of god you have said very true because this is the house that has now collapsed and now I built a new one as you have drawn na kwa kwetu kwa kwetu anasema ngozi jenga nyumba mabati kwa hivyo mkanga mmekaa kwa hiyo nyumba karibu miaka zaidi ya 15 Mvua ikaanza alikuwa anazunguka na e, mvua ikinyesha tunajikinga na besheni in our home we always believe you cannot build a mabati house but when this one collapsed because of heavy rains we had to build another one because when it was raining heavy it was leaking inside so much na hii ndio nyumba ambayo nimejenga juzi and this is the house i built recently ya kuna miti hapa ambayo pia nilijenga ni, ni, ni ziko iko ni miti kubwa karibu mbili tatu These are also trees as the man of God has drawn there are about two or three. I've never been to their place. But Jesus has been there. That is why I told you you people you should not tamper with your period here because we are all being observed. I fear whatever you say, whatever you do here It is not Kakande that he has appeared you have seen him no the whole heaven is watching yeah. So whatever problem you have Somebody is working out the answer His name is Jesus Yes And how can I know that even that house had fallen down I drew it it is fallen down it is not completely removed but fallen like that and there has built the ownership house and you see there the ownership house and the tree there tangu nijenge hii nyumba ndio nimeanza kushikwa na magonjo kila wakati this is how you got the sickness this is where you got the sickness from that's true man of god so the problem and what is the cause he jesus knows the cause not kakande but he who talks to kakande his name is jesus i'm reading john 147 to 51 john listen to this jesus saw nathanael coming toward him 
and said of him, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom is no deceit. Mm -hmm. Nathanael said to him, mm. How do you know me? Mm. Jesus answered and said to him, mm -hmm. Before Philip called you, when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. Mm. Nathanael answered and said to him, Rabbi, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Because I say to you, I saw you under the fig tree, do you believe? You will see greater things than these. So Christ Jesus could see, could hear, because he is God. Yes? Because now people are asking themselves question, how do you stand here and you go to Kenya and you come back? But before Nathan rose up, Jesus had seen him already under the fig tree. He said, no, I saw you seated in the fig tree before Philip called you. Then, how did you know me? I saw you seated before you stood up to come. Hallelujah. Say, Lord, Lord Jesus, thank you. Thank you. You, are you are aware of my presence here, of my, presence. Of my problem. Of my problem. Thank, you for the answer. thank you for the answer. Solution. Solution. I'm coming back here for this moment. I'm coming back here for this morning. What you say, man of God, is true. That this house, when it became old, it collapsed. And people used to laugh at me that my wife has nowhere to sleep. Yet I am working in Nairobi. But the work I do is to push the cart. So I had to sell a number of my properties in order to build this semi-permanent house so that I can remove shame from my wife. From that time is when I started getting sick time and again. Now they started saying, we thought he will build a permanent house, but he has built a semi-permanent house. I said God's time will come. It is now over. The Lord who has recovered you has given you a new job to say, he has given you wisdom. Yes. The knowledge kujua have wisdom upate hekima to do business ya kufanya biashara so you are coming back here in in june unarudi hapa mwezi wa sita to give your big testimony kutoa ushuhuda kubwa raza inuka there is after this there is a land down yeah. That land has brought you problems. Yes, they even said after we divided that I will not live up to December. That I'm going to be buried before I live in that house. In that land. So the fathers who are following my father, we no, have Don't worry, don't worry. I didn't want to say much. Come. That death is not there. You're coming back here to do your business. It is all over. Listen to me proper. I don't want you to go and push cut. Office, give me 100,000 Kenya shilling. I want you to go to back to Kenya. Kenya. This is what I want you to do. Hairdressing. Najua i tengeza kukata nyweli. Ndio. Aha. Go and study. 
enda usome for three months miezi tatu yes ndio the church will pay for you kanisa itakulipia after that you open up a small place baadaye utafungua sehemu ndogo and you start hair dressing na uanze kufanya kazi ya nywele asante come and give your testimony utarudi kutoa ushuhuda ila ambacho mtumishi wa Mungu amesema ukweli mtoto wangu nilimfundisha kazi nimeuza vitu imefika mahali ilikuwa imebaki ile 2020 amalize kosi yake na ameoleka and in mufundisho ya kazi ya hair dressing man of god what you are saying is true because one of my children i used my money to pay their school fees and this time they went to school to study hair dressing so go and start the hair dressing and i will show you kutengeza nywele yes you do that until you are 70 utafanya hiyo hadi una miaka 70 But there is a church near you people. Lakini kuna kanisa karibu nanyi watu. And uh, it needs to repair one part. Na inahitaji kutengezwa pande moja. Yes. Ni ukweli, ni ukweli mtumishi wa Mungu because the roof it is true man of God. Manake pa ya juu pa. Yeah. And, and the people are passing there. Watu wakipita pale. When it rains, rain is too much at that church. Wakati kuna nyesha kuna nyesha sana ndani. When you get money, take money and repair the church. Ukipata pesa endo utengeze. Ni ukweli mtumishi wa Mungu kuna kanisa ambayo tuko karibu na ndipo watoto wangu wanapoomba kwa hivyo tumejaribu kufanya harambe lakini bado hatujakamilisha It is true man of God there is a church near where I stay and my children go to worship there and we have been trying to raise money with harambe to repair but we have not reached that amount Now you are going to get money even from this money give some money to the roof Sasa utapata pesa hata kwa hiyo pesa ichukue kidogo upeleke kwa hiyo pa Now go and learn hair dressing Sasa nenda ujifunze hiyo kutengeza nywele Yes Uh, the rest the lord will do that for you hiyo mengine mungu atakutendea asante yes asante mungu thank you jesus asante yes asante yes asante thank you jesus